Hello and welcome to this session. So in this session we're going to be talking about uh, VPN which is a virtual private uh, network and uh, this is how we basically access uh, corporate resources uh, remotely by connecting uh, to corporate servers via uh, VPNs. So if you're into this kind of content uh, hit the like button uh, subscribe to my channel so that uh, you're updated each time and uh, comment uh, down below uh, tell me what you think about the video so let's get into VPNs so a uh, virtual private network uh, as we said earlier is used to connect uh, remotely to networks and uh, this is done by creating a tunnel between the client and the server so instead of using a proxy server this uh, this time around you're using a, a VPN so a proxy server as we said earlier is a server that you put inside your network to basically uh, access the internet for you and uh, it goes out to the internet for you so you access the server as the user and the server goes out to the internet for you but this time around uh, you as the user goes directly to the server that uh, you want to access but uh, via a virtual private uh, network now why would you want to use a, a virtual private uh, network now remember in the uh, proxy servers there is a uh, what you call as a uh, logging and this way we store information about uh, what each user has been doing a uh, uh, on the internet uh, via the proxy server uh, there's also security issues data goes out uh, unencrypted uh, and uh, this basically poses a uh, security issues when uh, we are talking about uh, networks or uh, corporate uh, networks now vpns come to solve these uh, problems so a vpn is a tunnel where no logging is involved and they uh, are like uh, proxy servers but when you're talking about security it depends on the tunnel that you're going to use uh, uh, to access uh, your server as a, a corporate uh, user now we have three types of uh, VPN tunnels. One uh, is a generic uh, routing encapsulation tunnel, that is GRE tunnel. We have the IPsec tunnel, that is the IP security tunnel, and the GRE over IPsec uh, tunnel. So let's get into details of each of these uh, tunnels and get to understand uh, how each uh, works. Now, generic uh, routing encapsulation. Remember what you're transporting, uh, we are transporting here is IP data. So in generic uh, routing uh, encapsulation, we don't have security. GRE does not provide the uh, security. But the big win for GRE, uh, it can enca encapsulate any type of IP data that is unicast packets, uh, that is uh, multicast packets and uh, broadcast packets. And uh, that is a very big win when it comes to generic uh, routing encapsulation tunnels let's talk about the other type of tunnel which is a uh, ipsec now ipsec uh, stands for ip security uh, and it basically provides a cons confidentiality that is it encrypts uh, the data that uh, it is uh, transporting or the, tr the data that goes through the tunnel it uh, has what we call integrity such that it uh, hashes the IP uh, data packets that are going through the tunnel. We have uh, authentication uh, using uh, public uh, shared keys or uh, digital signatures. And uh, what we have what we call uh, anti-replay, which means that uh, uh, serial numbers are applied to packets such that uh, when uh, they are going through the tunnel, uh, they are labeled and uh, they server is able to get the packets in order uh, of uh, transmission now the problem with the ipsec uh, tunnel it's that it can only encapsulate the uh, ip uh, unicast packets and that is a problem and uh, we are going to solve this later using uh, gre of uh, ipsec and uh, for, but for now, let us uh, continue looking at uh, IP security. For IP security, we have two tunnel modes, and uh, that is a uh, transport mode, which uses the packet uh, original header. And uh, for tunnel mode, means that uh, the 
uh, header or the IP uh, packet is given a, an entirely new header and uh, this uh, is uh, this helps when uh, tra helps when you are transmitting or uh, uh, retransmitting uh, these uh, packets now how do we set up the uh, IP security now we have two phases uh, uh, of this uh, uh, process in order to create an IPsec uh, tunnel and the uh, one is the uh, internet key exchange uh, phase one tunnel which creates an isacamp uh, tunnel that is uh, the internet security association and key management protocol tunnel that helps you authenticate that you are allowed as a, a user to use uh, that tunnel and uh, we have the internet key exchange uh, phase 2 which basically helps you to maintain uh, that uh, tunnel and uh, you basically need to remember the two phases is that phase 1 helps you create uh, the uh, connection and uh, goes through authentication to uh, identify you as an allowed user to use the VPN and uh, uh, phase 2 helps you to maintain uh, that uh, connection to the server. Now let us look at uh, GRE over IPsec. Remember we said that uh, IPsec uh, can only transport a uh, uh, unicast IP uh, data packets and uh, that is a problem because we need to transport more than that and uh, what you basically do in order to transport uh, broadcast and multicast packets is that we use the GRE tunnel then we cover it with the IPsec uh, tunnel with the uh, which uh, transports a uh, unicast uh, uh, IP data packets and uh, in that way you're going to transport any type of data through these tunnels so GRE encapsulates nearly any type of uh, any type of traffic into GRE packets which are unicast packets then the GRE packets are protected by the IPC uh, tunnel which can now transport the GRE uh, unicast uh, packets and uh, that is uh, it when it comes to VPNs. Uh, thank you for joining me in this one. Uh, see you uh, in the next uh, video. So, peace.